Sergio Studios. Extra. Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Sergio Dominguez with another production vlog of this episode of The Sergio Show. So in the previous video, I showed you how I do character designs in that old way of, well, this occasional thing I do of uh, drawing it on paper, then, um, then uh, outlining it in marker, seeing it to boom, boom, and organizing it, organizing it there. But for this video, I'm gonna now draw props and prop designs for this episode, and I'm gonna do it digitally with the Cintiq. So I'll show you two ways that I can draw and put it into the show. So this is the second way. And here we go. <clears throat> now, since this episode, like I mentioned uh, already a bunch of times before, it's the episode where I get uh, camera accessories and rigs for the episode where I just buy a bunch of camera accessories and rigs and put it together and go overboard with this uh, little camera. So I'm just going to draw a couple of these, try to remember and do some just to show you. <clears throat> so I got my pen ready. Okay, got the brush tool. And here we go. The first one I want to do, and it, it's the first one that's going to be shown in the episode, and it, it is like a uh, handle. Nice handle. Do that handle now. Now I'm not going to draw the lanyard. The lanyard will be separate. There you go. Handle. <laughs> now I'm going to draw a couple more accessories after this. Um, trying to think of a couple on the top of my head. Because I have uh, some uh, camera rigs and accessories right next to me. But let me get the ones out of my head first. Before I may take a closer look. So the next one I want to draw is this uh, ball head mount. So let's, let me see if I can do it by memory. And it's like this. It's not kind of. Let me just draw this. Oh yeah, that little uh, base at the bottom. So the eraser tool is a little bit too big. <laughs> Still, wait, is it a little too big. Like, of course, want to change the eraser settings. Maybe I should have gone to the eraser settings. Yeah, I should have gone to the. Eraser, then do the settings. Mm. There we go, much better. Oh, yeah, th th this is a little scraggle. Sometimes that happens with this antique where I draw an outline and that shows up, but that's okay. We got two accessories. Another accessory I'm gonna do is this, like this, this multi, like port. I don't know why this is the first thing that comes out of my head, but it's like. Excuse me. Yeah, it is like a port, and I'm uh, just getting back to this side. That side, like this. Let me try one more time. There we go. 
one would be the hole for the one fourth, and here would be the little screw nubs. And what I'm going to do in this case is um, draw these little screw nubs separately. Actually, I should have just copied and pasted the first one that I just drew and just worked from there, but yeah, I'll just draw it a couple more times. Little screw nub. <laughs> Alright, I should draw a tripod while I'm here. I'm going to draw a tripod and a couple of straps. I want to see if I can do at least 10. Um, I'm going to have to draw a lanyard after this. So let me try to draw a tripod from pure memory, even though I have one right next to me, so there's some reference. Let me try to. Yeah, let me actually change something. Make this one, the pin size, a little small. It's a little bit off, so let me try to change it with the perspective tool. So just redrawing. It. Hold on one second. What's going on, little guy? It's my dog wanting some attention. Why? Why are you going to be so cute? Okay. Just checking. One second, folks. Let me draw a nice leg. Good, I'll draw the rest of the pieces uh, later. Well, I just need to do is copy and paste, but before I do, I, I color it in, but we'll, we'll get to it. All right, next I'm gonna draw a nice lanyard. 
Yeah, like a we have a little string. Let me see if I can just there we go. A nice like head strap mount. So let's This is my idea of those like chest strap mounts. This is the double-sided, uh, um, yeah, double-sided um, one-fourth screw. So both ends will have the um, double-sided like how this is one-sided, but this is double-sided. It almost looks like a cartoon bone or uh, something else, but uh, don't worry. I'll add a couple more things and you'll understand, hopefully. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> See if we can thin this out a little bit more. That. I'm gonna put that here and here. That's the screw, and let's see what we have. How many do we have here? 
One, two. I'm gonna shrink this one down a little more. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. I, I think I'm missing an accessory. What could it be? I can uh, I can like draw a case. Yeah. Let me draw a case, the camera case with a um, something to something converter on the bottom. Make it work like that. Just a big square. Hopefully it'll fit in the already made camera cartoon, but uh, if it doesn't, I'll adjust it. Down here, that's where I put the, the thing, and then next I put the thing to the thing converter. That converter, and I also got to draw that real quick. Um, screw. There we go. Ooh, that's nice. That's a lot of accessories. <laughs> They're all gonna be like clumped together, and it's gonna be like a big, beautiful mess. check something else uh, I have my you know my case of accessories here I'll draw light little like little little light little light very simple light I guess yeah there we go light that be light. Let me just draw a button on the side. Here we go. Let me see what else I got in here. My trick bag of tricks. Now my phone holder. A couple like screws. Yeah, nothing that recognizable. I think we have more than enough. Maybe later on I'm gonna draw more because I when, at some point in the episode I put so many accessories into the camera it becomes this big machine. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Oh, I'm excited for that. But yeah, that's uh, for the most part for at least this moment. So I draw this. What I'm gonna do is color it and uh, set these up a little bit more. So how can I show this to you? Let me see if I can take this here. I'm adjusting colors right now. Gradient. I rely too much on gradient within the past 10 years, I guess. But it, it works. It, so I don't have to just deal with solid colors all the time. So let me just color a lot of these accessories. Ah, the grid's not dark enough. Click here. A little bit dark. There. We go. Draw this one here. No, that one's going to be blue. Just trying to now pick and choose what's going to be that kind of gray. But not overdoing it that much.
Hmm. Yeah, here to here. This is going to be clear, but I know what I can do to make this still have color, even though it's clear. And uh, let's, I'm going to change, switch colors. Hold on one second. You want to go out? I'm going to have to, I'll let you out. And the door's closed. Boy, yeah, he's, he's been in the cage for a while. I'd let him out for a walk, but he got anxious. No, that's fine. If you've seen him in previous videos, he, he does get a little excited, a little bit squeezed. So, where was I? Oh, yeah, color. Let's, here's a straight white, and we're gonna just darken, darken, not too dark. No. Like that shade. There we go. Kind of better. Yeah, a little darker. Not there. Trying to just pick the right gray. There you go. Here, here, here. Now for these little metal screws. I'm gonna go with these. Th this color. Here's the previous color that I'm coloring in with. Yeah, I want that um, that screw to be uh, blue gradient. There we go, and also the strap. Now for this one, let's see. Good. Now for this one, right here, I'm gonna go white. Oh no, hold on. Go new, then color white. Excuse me again, one second, folks. Oh, no, we can't even hang out with Daddy. Yeah, with Daddy. With Daddy. Yeah, let's see if I can finish this with. Oh, my little boy, you loving me. My little cheerleader. There's no better support, dog. All right. What a special little pooch. <laughs> He's a you. All right. Now, where was I? Okay, let me see if I can... If I don't know if I colored anything, I would press K. And it would give me this. What would show me, like, this is not colored in. Now it is. And, uh, yep. Yeah. Let me check. Okay, colored in. So, let me go back to this. Let me click on this. And let me go to, um, Alpha. 
and pull it back and look now it's starting to look clear you can see the other side of that grid and that's what gives it the transparent look that I'm going to get um, when I have for this case to give it a clear plastic look there we go now next thing I do excuse me ah missed a spot missed a spot ah uh, you you so cute <laughs> See me, folks. I'm sick, like dog loves me. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yay! This happens once a day. This rare, I have it also often once a day. My dog loves me. He wants to kiss, kiss my face and try to eat my nose. You know, I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Pardon me, you guys. My son was being... It's, it happens once a day where he's just being super affectionate and just loves me and does that. It's it's sweet. A little gross, but it's so sweet. I'm so happy. And I was really hoping that I would have a, a son that would love me. And he loved me a lot, as you can see. Okay, back to business. Mm. Alright, guys. I gotta color this in. Yeah. I were... Where did I leave that uh, properties? There we go. Properties. I want to color this. I want to color it not black, but I think there was another color. This one. Color this. There we go. Now let me check if everything's colored in. Two, two, two. That's gonna be a hole for that thing. So it's gonna be good, 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 good. Now, next part of the process. What I would do is, um, not all the, everything's drawn colored in, but not everything's really set up. Like this is set up, what, what I do is, the ones that are set up, I would take them, select them like this, go to tools, and then go to group. Because, now I can grab the whole thing at once. Because in other cases like this, you know how it's a, all one thing, but if I click this part, I won't be able to grab the whole thing. I will only be able to grab this part. So I'm gonna do that. Take this whole thing, if I can, without touching the other accessories. And um, yeah, there we go, I think everything's good. Yeah, so that whole thing's selected, but I gotta go group. Group, there we go. And you see, I'm touching that part again, but it's the whole thing. So that's what I gotta do uh, with a couple of extra thingies. This one, group. This little boy, group. Let me just shrink this. Shrink it? No, let me just tighten this up. There we go. There we go. There. I need to group the groups. So let me group. Perfect. This lighting rig. Group. Not rotate. Excuse me. Group. Yeah, it's grouped. Oh, this little piece got, uh, got, yeah, as you can see here, yeah, that got colored in. What's supposed to be colored in? So let me just fix that real quick. Not. There we go. Again. I'm going to take this little baby. Group. Oh, let me just adjust this a little bit because it looks a little bit off. Yeah. Let me also um, fix this a little bit. That little detail over here. There we go. Let 
Ooh, let me build, let me build this. Yeah, now that I made three copies for this tripod, this is also its own thing, so let me just copy. Let me put it behind it. Back, perfect. And I'm gonna keep it like this, because later on I can set it up in its own thing with uh, legs open, but let's see, does it fit all together? Kinda, all right, good enough. That's built, that's set up. This is not set up actually. Yeah, that's not set up. Let's copy and paste this little nub. Turn this guy right here, and right here. Shrink a little bit more, even tighten it. Group. There we go. Checking on my little boy. <laughs> Let's see. Should I do front or back with this one? Yeah, let's try back. Look at all these camera accessories! Yay! <laughs> yep, grouped, 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 group, 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 group. Ah, this is not completely grouped. Let me do it now. Group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Hmm. Well, not really thirteen, but you know, when it comes to these pieces. Because this is going to be its own thing, actually. Turn this sideways. Did that supposed to more go with this one? You know? That kind of accessory? Even i got to adjust this a little bit more. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah. That makes sense. Back. Nope. Wrong direction. Wait. Let me see. I can shrink this a little bit more. There we go. Even down here. Still not that, but uh, I can fix that. I got uh, the um, anchor point tool and just take that thing and stretch it a little bit. There we go. Much better. There we go. So how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Perfect. Twelve accessories. That's not bad. So what I'm gonna do is go here and press this button, which I did. New elements, drawing, and uh, I'm gonna type down A C. If I can, C C E. Pardon me, there's some things in the way of my keyboard, you know. Now let me turn that and let's go from 1 to 12. Go. There we go. Almost there you go. We're almost kind of-ish done. But um, here's what I do next. Now that they're all in one layer, I gotta just copy and paste each little accessory into their own uh, layer. In this case. So let's see. If I have the space to show you what I'm talking about, uh, there, there should be.
Let me even take this down for space. Hmm. First one, tripod copy, go here, paste. Even, yeah, I even put it in the center, but uh, we'll deal with that in, in a second. Let me even even press K just to, so I can tell the difference. Might as well group this too. Yeah. This one I won't group, but there will be in its own. Pardon me, uh, I got I got a little off track. Let me see if I got it. Yep, copy. I'm up by one, aren't I? Let me see, see this whole thing again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This little piece, this little boy. And back to the bottom. Good. Good, good. Now the next thing I do, I should, now that I, let me go here and just make it disappear, not have it appear. There we go. Now what I do next is I start to rig them. Start to uh, center them, then rig them. Let me see. Try and even resize them too. Because this is too small. I'm going to have to make it a little bit bigger. And to center it, here's what I do. Select all. It's the alignment. Now I'm resizing it. Now to center it, I just, just go follow here. This goes to this. This goes to this. And so on and so forth. So let me see if I can show this. I'm going to try to center this a little bit more. This one, and uh, you can just like center it here. This one needs to be a little bit bigger.
and there we go so next i would do is select all these press this button and bam each of them has their own peg so i can animate them because without that it would, i would kind of animate them still but it's important that they have pegs so we can keep track and i can edit it a little bit better and there you go just trying to close all this then i would do is select all again press i and a keyframe would start up meaning this is the first official first frame position that, that the props are set to and then each then what i would do after that is put them in the library in toon boom either within this project or the global library and it becomes you know a prop of the show and there you go there you have it this is how i, I make uh, props for the sergio show in this case for the episode where i buy a bunch of camera accessories and um yeah so i'm gonna end this video right here it's been really fun um even fun with my little boy you just showing he's under the desk being so cutie being so cute this, this dog you know come here come here and take a bow take a little bow come here and take a bow from the people being so cuties trying to get some attention and later being the best oh so yeah, that's all for this production vlog of The Sergio Show. In this case, prop design on the tablets and teak thingy. So again, thank you very much for watching. And we'll get to the next step of the production, hopefully. Whatever that is. And uh, I'll see you then. Or so. So anyway, again, thank you very much for watching. I am Sergio Dominguez. <laughs> saying, have an animated day.